Oh, okay, so, uh, whoops. I didn't realize I'd accidentally missed the end of a recording. Um, so, yeah, hi. Um, we have all the will seeds, we have everything we need. Emphasis on the word need, not everything we want, just everything we need. Well, then. The cognitive door is closed, should we head back? Return to the real world. Now returning to the real world from Futaba's palace. Thank you for your hard work. We did all this. Yes. All right. All right. So we've made it, but there's no turning back once the calling card is out. So failure is not an option. Is there anything left to do, Joker? Let's make sure we take our time going forward. Yeah, I need to. I need to make some of the blunt coffee. Okay. You did great today. You tired? Calling cards ready. That was fast. I mean, I already wrote these. I already wrote three of them before this. Remember? When I came up with with almost all the sentences. You don't gotta mention that. Smooth Ryuji. The real question here is when we should go to Futaba's room. Well, um, I think our leader should decide. Look who's the smooth one now. It sh really should be up to him, though, don't you think? Absolutely, we have no choice but to carry this out. It's all on you, Jeronis. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important task got pushed on you. No point in thinking about it now, though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Yo. Another box game for you. Hey! Lockpick, vanish ball, smoke screen. Oh! Armor I'll just add this. Just a quick save, yes. And then I need to brew coffee. Well, Depending on all the excitement, I think for both Majed and the Phantom Thieves, this kind of attention is the whole motive behind their crimes. And so all the thrilling spectacles to amaze people, I advise viewers not to be so enamored if possible. What did you say? Well, he's talking about us like we're criminals too? He doesn't have a grudge against us, does he? Hey! Are you gonna try to make them some coffee? Yeah. Make sure you're Heading up for the day. It's good you're really taking a shine to this stuff. Whoa. I love the smell of good coffee. Yes. yes. All right. Two LeBlanc coffee. Two LeBlanc. Well then. We should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. Ha. <sighs> Tuesday. Hey. There are twelve days left before the deadline. Aren't you going to send the calling card? Hey. hey. Shouldn't you tell the others about those targets and mementos? I'm gonna hold off until after we beat Futaba's I shadow. Something. Yeah. Okay. When are we gonna charge into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? I know. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. We'll be honest. Yes, that is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. 
After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. Should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We, we can't do it ourselves. I'm not mentally prepared. Well, I'll get ready right now then. It's too sudden. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. Wait, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? 
You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was... Open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? D did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world. But it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How yep. do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Should we do? Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> no, I'm going to die.
palace's security level is so high I can feel it all the way from out here. Huh? Chava seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Hmm, something about this place is really unusual. Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we've sent the calling card. Yeah. Hell yeah. No matter what we face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. It's not I'm not a robot. Hey, I challenging you. I'm not a phantom. I'm in your face. And I'm here to hey. see you through. I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn well better have run it. Right, it's open. Well, yeah, Tabachan opened the door herself. Nice. Anyway, the treasure's up ahead. Let's finish this. Incredible. So this is the, pa the place that represents Futaba's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, all right. Anyways, where's the treasure? This way. Getting a strong signal from up above us. The treasure is definitely manifested. There's no knowing what might lie ahead, so let's be vigilant as we push forward towards the treasure. I can feel it. About it, the treasure is right past this point. What may await us within? Sorry. What may await us within? No matter what it is, we need to be ready for it. Let's do this. Yes! We're coming to save you, Futaba chan If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu. Fu. Futaba Sakura? Sojiro Sakura's house. And then something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Tomb in the chat, and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a murderer! Murder. You're the one who killed her! It's all your fault! Don't come near me! Your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Well, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Is it a shadow? No! Then... It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. This is insane! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! <laughs> 
<laughs> Here it comes! <laughs> about we can't reach it like this we've got no other option let's take it down with our guns and skills persona go down Let's go. Tell. You gotta tell us, Mona! I can't help it! There are some things that even I can't do! So this is inside my heart. Yep. I didn't think it'd be like this. This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after Mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did, did you do? 
I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh... Did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ugh, my head! It hurts! Which is true! You're your Huh? It's calling me? The hell? We ain't doing shit to it! Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time. She be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up! So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ah! You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba Chan. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. It's your fault! Mom! I. I. It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. 
The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself or mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? Uh, Utabachan? Uh. What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? First words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them!
Let's bring that thing down. I'll shoot it. You want me to fire it, right? I'll shoot it. Mind if I do it? You want me to fire it, right? I'll sh mind if I do it? You want me to fire it, right? I'll carry Run this out. Melissa! Persona! Hecaton Kyrus! Go down! Let's go. Die! I wish for her to be with me, it'll never come true. That's why I'll live in the real world. Even if she's not there with me anymore. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy as I can. For a child to survive on your cruel world, they need a concerned mother figure like me. My mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton. But you're not her. And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else. Not me, children. Who can find ever? Shouldn't be punished. No, you're not. Everyone's health is really low. Can someone heal? Here we 
go. Thank you. Your health is dangerously low. Hurry up and heal. I'll use my persona. How's this? Yeah. Let's go. Ravage them! Persona! Ha! This is my other self. The opponent is strong. Don't Let's do go. anything reckless. World, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. Now it's payback time! Ha! Ah! 
Persona! Persona! Prepare yourself! Snap!
Come. You've got good moves. 
But maybe we should check for weaknesses. That's not right. Zona. Hariti. There. I apologize. I appreciate it. Persona! Futaba! Damn, you're freaking incredible! Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight! Another thing showed up? Mom? 